Fighting games often have insane levels of complexity to them. Well, not the games I picked out for this video. If you're looking for some less serious fighting games, then here are the top 5 free fighting games on Steam you don't know about. Circle of Sumo Online Rumble is an arena-based fighter where you have to knock your opponent out of the ring. You can pick from 1v1 mode or free-for-all where up to 4 players can fight at once. The game uses a rock-paper-scissors style combat system where certain moves counter others. You have a charge attack which knocks your opponent far away if you get a solid hit, a counter attack which lessens the impact of the hit and pushes your opponent back, and a dodge move which causes your opponent to phase through you if timed correctly. There's lots of different arenas in the game which have their own unique hazards you have to deal with. This keeps the game fresh as you have to position yourself in each arena to your advantage. The only thing I didn't like is that the game chooses a random sumo for you to play as unless you pay actual money or grind forever for a random loot box. This means that if you want to play as the best sumo every time, you have to pay up. Not too big of a deal since if you're tryharding in a sumo game, then you probably have bigger problems, but still. Let's go! Dub secure, baby! If you're looking for a sumo game with rock paper scissors style combat and hectic arenas then I recommend Circle of Sumo Online Rumble. Hyper Fight is a 2D fighter where every hit is a one hit kill. The gameplay is really simple as characters only have a few attacks at their disposal but you have to use them tactically to win. You can jump and dash around but there's no blocking. Every character has a basic attack with a few variations as well as a special ability. What you KO! Though some characters are clearly better than others. The specials are a gamble to use as it risks losing some of your wins. If you end up hitting your special, you instantly win the fight in most cases, but if you miss, then a few of your wins turn red, meaning if you lose the fight, then you lose those wins. However, if you win the fight, then you keep those wins and get an extra one for winning. There's a good risk and reward with the special attacks because they're better than the basic attacks but have to be used at the right moments. <laughs> Super KO. The game has arcade mode and online mode, with no one playing. Let me in. Let me in. in arcade mode, you pick a character and then progress through all the other fighters with three continues at your disposal. If you're looking for a fighting game with a unique one-hit kill and risk and reward concept, then I recommend Hyper Fight. Ultra Fight Kianta 2 is a frantically fast-paced fighting game with a weird art style. It's the most traditional fighting game on the list but still sets itself apart because of its weird MS Paint looking graphics and overall strangeness. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend like I understand a lot of what's going on cause I don't have experience with traditional fighting games. I do know that it's really fast paced and each character has a special attack <laughs> that uses the special meter that gets charged from hitting your opponents. You can change the speed of the game and if you put it to max you get something like this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm kinda retarded. The game has an arcade mode structured in the same way as Hyper Fight, but here you can go in with up to three different characters. Matches have you fight against one to three opponents and if your character dies you just play as the next one, so all three have to die for you to lose the series. The characters are really unique both in terms of aesthetic and playstyle. I know there's a lot of depth here because of the combinations of moves and its fast paced nature, but I have no evidence from my footage or experience to back this up because I'm trash. <laughs> You suck! If you're looking for a fast paced complex fighter that also happens to be one of the weirdest games ever then I recommend Ultra Fight Dakianta 2. Mana Rights is a retro styled fantasy beat em up with RPG elements where you fight enemies to make your hero stronger. Do beat em ups count as fighting games? Well it does in this video. You pick from one of four classes at the start of the game and head out on your adventure. There's not much of a story besides that you're the chosen one and people need killing. But you. You are different. You're that guy, pal. Trust me. You're that guy. The combat system is simple to learn but gets more depth as you level up. You have your basic attack which can then be altered by jumping and sprinting as well as a block. As you fight through enemies, you'll get loot like new weapons and armor. When you level up, you can spend points on your skill tree to learn new combat moves like magic spells and get passive perks. 
There's a lot of different enemy types and several boss fights that you all have to learn the patterns of. After a quest, you go to the overworld map where you travel from quest to quest and can pick optional side missions for extra rewards. You can visit your hub town on the map as well to get new quests and buy things with the gold you've collected. The game is quite long and has a lot of replay value because of its different character classes and option to play the whole game in co-op. If you're looking for a game with a deep RPG-driven combat system, then I recommend Mana Rights. Roller Riot is a cyborg-filled beat-em-up game where you go through a neon-filled city defending yourself from waves of enemies. It has the same gameplay style as Iron Snout, which is a game I covered in another video but with a few key differences. The gameplay consists of just a left and right attack. Waves of enemies come at you and you have to time your attacks and combos so you don't get hit. Each enemy has a different design in terms of how it attacks or how much health it has, so figuring out which order to attack enemies in is key. If you build up a high enough combo, you go into frenzy mode, which lets you attack enemies no matter how far they are away from you. You can also lose combo if you don't time your attack properly, which stuns you and leaves you open to attacks. As you fight through waves of enemies, you'll find body modifications which work like power-ups that you can equip before runs like double points or an extra life for example. If you're looking for an addictively simple game with a lot of style, then I recommend Roller Riot. One bonus game! <laughs> WKSP Rumble is a story-driven fighting game where you play as actual employees of an ad agency in an effort to find where your desk is. You pick one of the over 100 characters in the game, which is impressive, but they all just have palette-swapped movesets. The fighting is really simple, there's your standard kick and punch attacks as well as a special attack. But that's not all, there's also a super special attack that you activate when this meter fills up which is an insta-kill, well at least for my overpowered character. <laughs> The game is really easy since the AI opponents are really stupid and easy to trap against walls, but if you're looking for a simplistic fighter with a charming story, then I recommend WKSP Rumble. Those were the top 5 free fighting games on Steam you didn't know about. I'll have my playlist of free Steam games you don't know about linked in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up with this ongoing series.